Hey, put that shit do the life favor. Put that shit cook. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, he wouldn't want some junk like that, though. Let that be tough. Let that be tough. We're gonna get you a metal chuck car. You're gonna get me. That's what you need. That black chair with OC. Damn right. She'll be flattered that you invited her in. Nah, fuck that. 50, you need man. to be a little bit more romantic, 50. Uh, nah, be a 50. Zoom in on 50 right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother me. I'm probably be spooked, right? Nah, I say he's to, look, he's trying to be smooth right now. Look at his that. Oh, God. But that's a spook, dude. He's crazy in bitch. I'm a thug for life, pussy hoe. Welcome back to another podcast, man. Blog gang, gang talking. Gang talking episode 70, man. Damn. It's your host, your boy Jay Stu. Across from me, I got my boy T Raw. Gang, gang, gang. You already know it, though. Going on, man. And to write of me, man, we doing it different, man. He the host, but today he the guest. It's my boy, Big 50. Go ahead, man. Oh God, Mr. Red Cup, man. I know what the fuck it is, man. You know how we get down for no reason. Oh. Man, so y'all already know, man. Last time, J. Stu sat on the hot seat. You know, we talked about J. Stu a little P. Flashback. I'm going to give the people what they want. I'm going to let them people know who I am. And the best way to do that is if you guys ask me questions. So it's not me making shit up. Feel me? Let me drink to that. Hey man, I feel nervous about this. But I feel like I can trust y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we gotta switch it up this time. And I thought it was crazy because we ain't never thought about asking 50 how 50's life went. So we putting him in the hot seat now. We gonna really talk and get to know Big 50, you know, like get to know him a little bit more. Maybe y'all get to know 50 a little bit more intimately i hear some crazy stories from 50. oh man we're gonna tap in how you day going 50. yeah man so cooling man we live baby no my leg going good no red cup dark shades my brothers you know how we get down yeah what you did today we fam? live baby what you did today fam nah just cooling man just cool. i got trade man look at check out my kit my boy I ain't on nothing though, man. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We on live. What's I up, mean. girl? Trey. What's the deal, big bro? You on the podcast right now, nigga. We on the podcast with Trey. Nah, they can't see you. I can see him, though. What's up, boys? Y'all going live right now? Yeah, we, we live, live on kit right now. Hey man, appreciate it, bro. Love, bro. Hey man, we might have you slide through one of the episodes. That boy, that boy in Wisconsin, man. Got there on Trey Week. Hey, glad Trey. You see Trent over there? Yeah, man. You know, they ain't in the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Facts. I see you wearing your shades too, fam. You in it with us? They got told that nigga got a vibe to Wisconsin, man. We trying to slide. Yeah. We trying to go to Kilwaukee, nigga. I know you're not good to come. I can come on down there to Florida. Slide, bro. I got you. I'm trying to kind of see what a lot of them like. I'm trying to see what, you know, what's going on. Let me not disrespect it. Broward, okay. fuck, nigga. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, you sound like you from Brown County, bitch. Hey, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't know nothing. I'm just saying, what's up with y'all, boy? What's happening with y'all, man? Nah, I'm on the podcast right now, bro. We just chilling, bro. All right. So let's get back to the interview now. Yo, so we on, bro. Sidetrack. So, let me ask you this, 50. When you was like, you started out, what was like early days for Big 50 like, bro? 
I just give us a little insight, bro. How was life for you as a jit? I mean, no, you know, I started off first ten years of my life. I was, I was, I was the only kid. Then ten years later, mama had two kids back to back, and another kid three years later. So, man, you mm. know, I went from a only kid to damn the a father of three. A father of three, yeah. You had yeah, the mentor. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little, little mentorship, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So. Did you carry over that life lesson that you had growing up to your own kids? You feel like? I'm gonna tell you, dog. And people don't know this. Mm -hmm. It's a little different raising somebody else's kids, whether they're brothers and sisters, and raising your own kids. It's two mm -hmm. totally different things. I believe that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I not kinda, saying to love. I kind of raised my cousins in a way, but you know, well, once you have your own like, kids, I can't it's different. Them, it's yeah. different. Right? It's not way different because I don't have the responsibility of beating their ass. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you fuck with them on, on, on the time that you can. Mm -hmm. But your kids is like 24 hours, mm -hmm. seven days a week type stuff. You feel me? Yeah. Like, it ain't the same, homie. Yeah, but, you know, adding on to that, right? Like, we're not really getting off of that. But you said you spent the rest of that time raising your... Well, I helped. I, I ain't going to say I raised them, but, you know, I was I contributed to, like, helping them. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, man. But... Adding on to that, like, so outside of being a father to your siblings, like, that was it? Like, what did you do to, like, you know, for fun, like, growing up? You know, I was still, I, I was kind of, I was green as a little to a piece, you know? I, I, I ain't really, really do no silly shit till I got a little older. When I was mm. younger, I, like, I'd rather go play basketball than even go, like, man. So you was more like a role model growing up? Hell like, nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, got all else, man. I just I just did what I wanted to do. But what I want to do is play basketball. Mm -hmm. Even more than a female, like bitch, I have a hundred females on my phone, like testing them and fuck them girls and I'm going to hoop, man. I talk to y'all when I'm done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, that just was my what I wanna do. I can't say it was, that was my priority at that time. So, you know. That's why I would life. Yeah, I feel you on that. It consumed you in a way, but it was on a good thing because he was he was a jet. Yeah, came out of the streets, bro. Yeah. But what but the problem with that is once I got hurt, it's nothing time away from and the But streets. what time what age did you finally get hurt? Twenty. Yes, but you was already a grown ass. Nah, nah. Man. What? You was oh, out of high no, no, school. No, no. I got hurt. I was out of high school when I got What's hurt. What's your high school life like? Were you like a celebrity in high school? Uh, Uh, I was the nigga that, that the just joking ass nigga. He was a joking ass nigga. Yeah, like, class, class clown, the class, class clown, clown. Uh, one of them. Okay. Yeah, you know I'm saying I ain't, I ain't gonna say I was the most popular nigga in school because that ain't that ain't true. <laughs> but as far as if you know me, you know I'm. If I'm you threw a party, you feel like everybody that showed up. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, not a decent amount of people. I don't want to over exaggerate it. You know what I'm saying? The people. Right, I, I, I want to say this. With. The people that fought with me fought with me. If you did fought with me, you didn't fought with me. I don't want to over-exaggerate like, oh, yeah, I was that nigga. No, 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 I wouldn't. Hey, but you know, at the end of the day, you came out of a great class. Like, we don't know how far Curb going to take it, but, you know, you can be like, hey, bro, you know. Nah, Curb older than me. You older than me? Yeah. Yo, what they do, man? It's what OG Curb, 954, Melrose, 9020. You know what the fuck going on. Good to have you on. We could talk about some of your work for the people who don't know what you do. I do music. I rap. Yeah, All right. right. Um, I can sing, sing on that, that bitch a little bit. I do a little comedy acting, you know, shit like that. You know everything, man. I'm an entertainer, you feel me? Oh, shit. I thought y'all went to school together. Yeah, but he's he's still in front of me, though. Uh, he graduated before you. Yeah, he graduated before me. Well, but y'all was, like, close, like, y'all. Nah, I I know Curb just from the hood, because he stayed in Lauderdale. They're mm -hmm. like, we were home, but, like, we, I see him, it's all love type shit, you feel me? Oh, okay. He's hanging, the nigga he hanging when I asked to fuck with him hard, a nigga named Rashad. Rashard. Nah, me and Rashad was straight. I'm a dog. You feel me? But him and Kurt were like, they're here. Mm, like, okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. I, I ain't gonna say, oh, I, bro, I know bro like that. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna say no crazy shit, but I, you know who I seen him, you know? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Y'all seen each other. Yeah, 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 it was always respect. It was always respect, bro. But I, I feel like that's your common relationship with most people. It's mostly nah, all, people, mostly a lot of people, respect. People, it's funny, though, but a lot of people really know me. A lot of people really know you? Yeah, for sure, so. Like, it ain't like, oh, yeah, bro, it's just all respect. Like, I, I feel that way, too. Like, yeah, niggas right. be like, oh, shit, it's big 50. 
Just <laughs> like when Kev came in here, this whole time we know Kev, we ain't never know. Oh no, I know Kev though. Like I really know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really know Kev. Then interaction yeah, should be all about holding each other to a certain standard. If I meet you and you say, "This, I'm a man of integrity, and this is my morals," and my, I'm, I'm always gonna hold you to that standard. Yeah. I'm so real that, like, listen, bro, I can't be around you because then people gonna think I'm broke. Like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, I can't talk boy, to you. Boy, no way, boy. I can't talk to you. Boy, no, no way, way, boy. When I see you around, when, when, when people see you when you not around me, yeah. they're going to be like, that nigga got bread. The kid got bread. They hang together all the time. Yeah, but yeah that's if, true. If he, that nigga, yeah. if I see you at the corner store smoking a black and mild and you yeah. ain't leave the store, I, I can't, listen, bro, no offense to the people that smoke black and mild. And he, 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 he freaked the black too? You got to <laughs> <laughs> if you smoke a black, you would And it's crazy because they're like, oh, me and Kev hang out. Oh, this. throw back, nah, throw back. A lot of niggas we go with, you know, black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We he we gonna get into that. Stuff. We you gonna get into black. That. Yeah, I know we know That's black. Wild, Outside yeah. of black, there was a thing going back to Kev. Kev came on the cast, right? And yeah. <laughs> Through Kev, we knew that you guys had a relationship. But then when we went to Igloo, throwback to Igloo, we met this other buddy who was there at, at the party. But y'all seem cool, so I don't know how true the story was. But he said you and bruh got into an altercation of some sort. James? No, that's, that's my what, guy. That's your guy? You not, y'all no, never... no, 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 no. Me and his brother got an altercation. You and his brother? Yeah, no, no. Me and James don't got nothing. Oh, young James never got. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Nah, me and his brother got altercation when I was younger. Okay, maybe misunderstood because I felt like the way how I was looking, I, then I saw you dap him, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe. Chill yeah, said that though. Yeah, he was just saying that. that that's what happened. <laughs> He was just standing in the past, and like he had came up with bruh, and y'all seemed cool, and he was just like, yo, like, you know, him and him had gotten into an altercation. Nah, me and James never got an altercation. Me and his brother got an altercation. Oh, okay. Nah, me and James never had nothing. But yeah. that's still his brother, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, me yeah. and James never, me and him never argued nothing. Oh, okay. It's always been love. But but me and his brother actually fought when we was, we was younger. His brother uh, older than him. Me and James the same age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Matter of fact, me and James are day apart. Your birthday mm. April 12th and my birthday April 11th. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we like a day apart. Like, nah, me and James never got nothing. Me and, me and his brother actually like fought before. Over okay. under over, over under some, just some jitty bug. Like, bro, it was wild. Just, just some yeah, some jitty bug shit. Like, 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 bro, no, no, no bullshit, bro. So just, y'all you and him good now? Me and his brother? Yeah. Nah, ain't no beef. Man. Ain't no beef. It's, it's some jitty bug shit. Yeah. That's how you. He do. older than me. What happened was, we was boxing one day, and then he felt like he 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 felt like I'm bullshitting. You taking this too serious? Cause I, I feel like I hit him so hard. He thought we had, I had some person against him. So it, all day, like like next couple days, everybody, like, man, what the man got be with you? And like mm. like, I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm lost. I'm like, man, in reality, I'm lost, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So. So it wasn't actually a fight. So when I seen him, I'm like, man, what was going on? He swung on me. Oh, he swung. Yeah. So he swung on me. So he swung on me and I'm when he swung on me, I'm shocked. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm caught off guard. Yeah. To the point where I, I'm I don't have enough energy to get mad because I'm really like confused. So when he swung on me, then it, okay, oh, we fighting. Yeah. So then I hit him, boom, boom. We wrap up, whatever the situation we we rumble on the ground, whatever. Yeah. Then I go I actually after that, I actually go in the house. I go in the house. Mm hmm So I go in the house, I'm hot, bro, like. Cause I'm like, bro, what the fuck we just fought for? Like I like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. What the fuck is this about? You feel me? I know how that shit be. No, going, no, it's just shit though. Like, I'm you be fighting over lie. bullshit, like. It's some bullshit, cause yeah. it, like, so cause everybody outside they watching this night. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't never type in. Oh, okay, I got whooped or whatever. Like, I, I don't even know what the fuck we fighting for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I come back outside. Cause the one thing about it, I ain't scared, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got me fucked up, like. Yeah. And I sit and I ain't saying nothing. I'm just ducked off in the corner. So what happened is he walk up on me, like everything cool. Like he trying to talk to me. Yeah. He, he swung on me. Yeah. But this time he got me good. Yeah. So we end up running on the ground, he get on top of me, hit me a couple times or whatever, we break it up and, and that's what it is. 
I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's, this is exactly what happened. Right. But the problem with this is this whole is, is I never really tried to fight, bro. Like, yeah, I was you... never serious to like. The only time I was serious is when he took out me at the at the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I tapped him twice, and then we, you know, what I'm saying whatever. Mm-hmm. It's some, this some, this some real jitty bull jits, bro. Like we were jitty bull, like sixteen, seventeen type shit. We were jitty bull, but that's what happened. Yeah, I can believe that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. But me and James have never ever had an altercation ever. Oh uh, yeah. Like n- never had an argument, a fight, nothing. Okay, maybe he maybe Kev mistaked it. I no, man, maybe James told him that because for him to say that. Mm-hmm. But me, me and James never had an issue ever. Mm-hmm. It's always been love. So maybe, I see, maybe. I see the way y'all move. So I was just like, you know, I felt like at the end of the day, it's up to me to clear the air. Like. I'm hearing shit, and there's one side, there's the truth. I could take this shit to the grave, but it's like, why would I? I didn't even know Kev said that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I like to clarify shit. I don't nah. like to think pe- things of people. I don't. So, I know, don't even see why you, you giving the clarification is straight. No, but I, if that's the issue. That's probably what it was. But me and but me and his brother don't have nothing issue. against Kev either. I don't want to put it like. No, no, no. We good. We good. I'm saying, but yeah. I don't. Me and Jane, I, I always thought it was cool. I. But it's like you say, like you just never know. You know what I'm saying? But me, me and his brother, I don't have even his brother. We, that shit, we was jitterbug when that happened. Hey, I don't, I don't so issue, no. let me ask you now, like going back to high school now, pivoting back to that. <clears throat> did you feel like you were accepted in high school? Like everybody really fought with you? I mean, I mean, people fought with me in school though, like. I'm not saying like, oh, I was the most popular nigga in school. Like, mm-hmm. nah, I'm not saying that, but people fuck with me, bro. Like, you're a class clown, though. You know people gonna fuck with you. You mm-hmm. got people don't fuck. They don't. They don't fuck with you. Like, you gonna have both sides of the equation. Like, a lot of people didn't fuck. So, the people that I'm picking on didn't fuck with me, of course. Of course. Because I'm a semi bully. Yeah, damn bully. Yeah, I was semi. I ain't gonna cap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna send my buddy so no a lot of motherfuckers ain't fought with me, but you know, for the for the most part, like it is what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I used to crack on motherfuckers. Man, <laughs> you one of them niggas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. You heard this nigga T bro. Nah, true story, bro. I mean, I already I already <laughs> about to do that. <laughs> bro, just for the way this nigga act on the regular. <laughs> hey, hey, true story, bro. <laughs> Uh-huh. True story, bro. I caught on nigga so bad. He had to kill himself. <laughs> the nigga changed his class, bro. <laughs> bro, you was mean, bro. You was a mean ass nigga. Damn, kid. I feel bad though. Like nigga ain't on that, bro. Like, damn, Trey, you hear this nigga, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> He used to make niggas change their classes and shit. <laughs> Damn. 50. Would you want to hear that your son is doing that to other kids? They just ask you that. Nah. Hey, bro, you live and you learn, bro. That's good, though. I'm not trying to demonize you for that. I don't give a damn said- it, is. <laughs> it is. I really, I'm really not, bro. I don't want you to feel bad about it. Because- I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I used to crack on niggas too. So. I used to get I ain't cracked on. Nobody changed classes though. Nah, nah, I, nah, bro. Like I used to get cracked on. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> but nah. guess what? It only made me give less of a. Fuck. Nah, but don't know. Like some G shit is just like it, it's all funny games to 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 like to you to to you to um to you the person that's. In a bad situation, so like I was all funny. I'm cracking on nigga that got bad clothes. A lot of niggas with bad eyes crack on doing real good right now. So guess what? They getting the last now. But I, I ain't no hater. I can respect it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna. Oh yeah, you at school you went shit. Nah, bro, you do your thing, bro. I ain't, I ain't here to take nothing from you. Yeah. A couple with girls, all that. I know doing real fucking good right now for themselves, bro. Mm-hmm. Hey man, it is what it is. The ones who peak in high school would be the ones that fall. That's what they say. I didn't, but I don't think I peaked in high school. Though. I was no, like, I don't think. I think your peak is yet to come. No, no, but I don't think I peaked in high school at all. Don't you feel me? No, personally, fifty. I think your peak is yet to come. I think you having a family at your stage is just a way to humble you. 
Because if you didn't have a family, I think you'd be wrecked out somewhere. Right, right. <laughs> oh, God. No, when I speak, bro, I speak on experiences from my experience and from experience that I see from other people. Yeah. I don't speak for no reason. Even if it come out funny or you might think it's joking, I be dead the fuck serious, bro. What the fuck come out? I home, believe bro? that. Like, I don't be playing I believe around, that. bro. Like, nigga, oh, yeah, 50. But my, but my delivery is always so... Like, oh, yes, yeah, funny, jokey joke. Nah, I be dead ass serious, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just come out like that. I feel you, bro. I feel you. That's the same way how I feel. Like, sometimes I feel like I joke too much. Like, Nigga, what? Talking... Why you do that? You know what? Excuse me? You think what? Oh, man. Damn, how do I come off to y'all then? Let me ask y'all a quick question. Not like that. <laughs> I don't come off as a jokester. How I come off to you, bro? Crazy? Nah. You just lay it back, bro. I don't know why you think you have all this extra energy that you don't got. <laughs> what about you, T-Raw? Oh, no, man. Damn, man. Different ways. Damn, man. You know, bro, I just nigga all the time. That's what I was about to say. I see all the sides of this nigga, man. <laughs> I see when this nigga be mad at the world and shit. I see when this nigga high energy, low energy, everything. Facts. Because at the end of the day, we always be working, bro. We edit in. So even when I don't want this nigga to slide, he slides. So we work. It's this song. nigga see me when I'm mad. At the end of the day, it's like, that's how you have to stay consistent. You got to work even when you don't feel like working, bro. Nigga, I don't feel like working right now. Shit. Yes. And you here. I fuck with it. I ain't gonna lie, you bamboozle me, but that's another story. Nah, <laughs> I didn't bamboozle you. You did what you knew you was supposed to do. We need a better interview. This nigga ain't, this nigga ain't put no, no apply, no pressure, man. <laughs> <laughs> no apply, no pressure. I started off with some pressure. <laughs> yeah. I ain't started by the altercation. He didn't even know I was coming with that. Man, that's that's look. Come on, bro. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't call them. You don't. You don't. You don't. Call all right, Trent. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, Big Fifty. You don't you satisfied with that? No, I ain't satisfied right. with that. We still going. Moving on from high school now, bro. Yeah, bro. What's the craziest thing you got into after high school? You gotta be like, what do you mean? As far as what women and I, I don't, I can't just. I, my life is a movie, homie. I can make a movie out of my life. So when you say, you gotta give me like a scenario, a situation, something, bro. Female or what? 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 what, what like, give me example. Of what you trying to say? All right. So after you left school, right? Stop whispering, nigga. Speak on. Nigga. I ain't whispering, nigga. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. Speak like a man, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I'm already talking like a man, nigga. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying when you left school, right? Like. Yeah, it is. You know, we all, we all, bro, when you was in high school, bro, we all felt like we was, we was the shit. We was getting hoes. Yeah. Life was easier, less yeah, responsibility. Yeah, yeah. So after you felt like you got the freedom initially from leaving school, what was the craziest shit you got into? Everybody had that moment. I mean, it's a lot. You went to college? No. You even thought about no, no, going no, no. to college? No, 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 I went to school. I didn't finish, but I went to school. Okay, but you, you went right after school? Uh, a little bit after, not right after though. Okay, so you got the freedom. What you deal with it? What, what we talking about, female? Like, you, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, like, okay, what we talking about as far as women, as far as anything? Because I have a lot of sto crazy stories. Something that comes to your memory all the time. I don't want to hear. I don't want to put you no specific on no female. I just want to hear a story that you think about often that happened within that time period. I'm kind of old, cause I can't even remember nothing unless I get a detail. <laughs> just <laughs> call me up. Nigga say he gotta go through the archives in his brain. What's that? Just it's all just freestyle. Hey, I got run that SpongeBob meme where the nigga had the file cabinets and shit going right, through. Got an order from the boss. Dump everything that isn't about fine dining. Everything, everything. Come on, come on, come on. Quicker, quicker. Delete, delete. Get moving. <laughs> hey, check me out. I'm a freestyler, D. But, um... <laughs> hey, y'all help him in the chat come up with some fucking stories, man. Y'all been with 50. Just give us a story, like, about, like, a near-death experience, probably. Bitch, I almost died a hundred times, man. Bit, bit. 
<laughs> All right, man. Um, this nigga making it so hard to pick a story. Because I got so many. You got to understand, I was on my own, bro. This like, nigga is a movie star. Apparently. Nah, this nigga. Oh. We got to write this nigga a book, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, all right, I'm going to give you a story. Damn, I don't even know. That's so nice. I'm old, bro. Like, I'm, he I'm break the climacticism of the whole shit. Yeah, like, I fuck that start with the. Start with the, yeah, let me give you one. I, 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 uh, I already know oh, that bitch. Bro. My climactic bitch fuck that. Climactic. No, but um better niggas say climax. <laughs> yeah. Horny <laughs> ass nigga. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hey, what hey my hey, you know what? Nah, my alright, okay. So when I was younger, my grandma, I stayed with my grandma. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, but you know, I was doing wrong, I was you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Little hand to hand comment. I know you niggas know, but she booted me, bro. She what? She kicked me out. Oh, okay, with nowhere yeah. to go. Facts, yeah, you know. And yeah, my grandma love me. My grandma love me like a son, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And then so me. during that hard times, bro, you you meant you mentioned that you you were experiencing homelessness. Right? Oh yeah, briefly. Nah, not really. I just, I just you were just exaggerating. Yeah, I just, I just, fucking cap. No, no. You know what's crazy? Every time I had nowhere to stay, one of my homeboys took me in. Ah, uh, yeah. so yeah, I, yeah, I, I got some. So room. how did it? How did it feel like, like pedaling off of people? I wasn't used to it. You know, so my grandma actually like every time I fell back, my grandma had my back. Uh -huh. So now she kicked me out. My homeboy ain't gonna feed me now. He gonna have me somewhere to stay. I gotta feed myself, cuz. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So and I ain't up being a street nigga, but. You I had, had to, to figure out. I had to figure out how to. You know what I'm saying? I had to feed yourself. Man. Yeah, I, had to I learned the streets. But when I was out here in the, in the street, so-called streets, right? Mm -hmm. I learned stuff on my own because I'm not from the streets. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I learned how to hustle. I had to teach myself how to hustle. But I had to mm -hmm. learn from niggas that wasn't even getting money like that. They showed me the game. So when I surpassed them in the game, because I took it more serious than them. I, Cause I, I I've always been drug free. I started drinking. I never smoked. I never did anything. You didn't do nothing to sedate yourself. Nah, I never. You know what I'm saying? Well, you drink now. I drank then, but so I never really like did nothing crazy. Yeah. I started drinking. So did you tried coke before? Nah, I never tried no clean boy. I had to throw that. Nah, out, nah, 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 nah. I ain't never cleaned my nose, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never did no coke, bro. No sir. <laughs> The fuck y'all got going on, bro? I ain't never did nothing. I just had to make sure. You know, I know you handling a lot of things as a dealer. Nah, but but when I stayed with my homeboy, like well, I was I was serving at my grandma's house, but yeah. all this stuff I learned on the fly. Uh -huh. I stayed in the hood, but I was never from the hood. I always had a job or whatever. Then I caught a felony when I worked at Brad's Mart. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I caught a felony, so yeah, like, no. Nope. Fuck the game, man. Yeah, fuck the game, so like, so I would, so... I didn't have a job for a while, so I literally, I learned, like, okay, just like, you think about a young nigga getting out of the streets. I'm an old nigga getting in the streets. Mm -hmm. I'm 20. I'm just, just learning how to get in the streets. Yeah. But everything with me, serious. These niggas taking this game because they smoke. I don't smoke. Yeah. I don't do none of that. So I'm all, I'm all, I'm counting my money, all that. Everything serious with me. So mm -hmm. when I did it, I was, I, I, I was actually good at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. Vel, oh that boy, yeah, my dog too. Hey, go Vel, on the kick. On, Shout man? out on the kick. Let's see you on the chat. We live man. on the stream, bro. That's my dog too. You know me too, but hey, oh classy one. Thank you, love. But yeah, man, we live on the stream, bro. But um, yeah, and also hey, get on kick, get on kick. Yeah, hop on kick, bro. We on kick right now, bro. Check my IG, man. Get we on kick, man. We live, we on the podcast. But. Nah, bro. You see my dog, Vel. That nigga, <laughs> hey, that's my nigga. Yeah. He, me and him was like, my first job, mm -hmm. I, I won't say I helped him get the first job, but like, he got him his first job. We got, our first job was together. Mm. Like, so, but whatever. That's my nigga. But like, yeah, though, so I, I really like, I was a green jit and I learned shit from the, from the muscle. Mm -hmm. Never, like, I learned how to serve, learned how to bag shit, I learned how to count. Like, what to put in there, whatever the case may be, bro. Like, I don't want to get into too much detail about it. But I had to learn how to, like, grind. And the grind mm. was, I, it was, I, it, people say it's hard, but it wasn't for me. The grind only hard 
if you're not serious about it. Mm. It don't feel hard when you take it serious. It only feel hard when you bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? I feel like when you don't love it. When you don't love it, it, it feel it feel fucking impossible. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying I loved it, but I took it serious. Yeah. I ain't got no money on pocket. How I'ma get it? <coughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that movie where the niggas said, I love the hustle. You know I love, love the hustle, bro. Paid in full. Paid in full, I nigga. Was, oh, bro. You was paid in full. A nigga like me, man. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. I be feeling like one of them ball playing niggas, you know? Like Bird, Magic, or something. Yeah, you know, a nigga got dough. A nigga could leave the league. But if I leave, the fans still gonna love me, man? Man, I, was, man, I, I took that shit serious, man. Oh, God. That's how it's supposed to be, man. <laughs> Hey, throw that clip in there. I Matter of fact, speaking on my dog Vel, we gonna bring this up. Hey man, our first job, bro. We was two of the youngest niggas. Me and me and the other two niggas. We getting paid every week. Mm -hmm. Niggas fresh. Niggas getting cars. Niggas got chains, gold, all that, bro. You was like that. Hey Vel, man, tell her how it was, bro. Keep it a hundred. Vel hop had chains. Hop gold. in the chat. On the oh, we got we live. Nah, I put that. Oh, damn. Yeah. You had me excited, boy. <laughs> yeah, my dog, yeah. Nah, my dog, yeah, was done. Nah, bro, for real. We were young niggas, bro. I got a yeah. call. Everybody get called. We got chains. We got goals. We were at Lotta Hill Mall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jesus Peace earrings. Yeah. Like, we f fresh ass nigga. My dog, Vel, still fresh. That yeah. boy, one of the fresh niggas I know. No, no homo, no bullshit. Like, but. <clears throat> Young niggas too, bro. We yeah. young. I'm the oldest nigga too. Out of all of us, I'm the oldest. I'm always, I'm always oldest for whatever reason. Fell like a year or two behind me. But make me fresh. Everywhere we go, bro. Doing different shit. Making and we ain't money. selling no drugs. We working. Working? Yeah, we had jobs. We only had a job before when I was in the streets. Hold on. Three three jobs? No, this is my first job. Oh. When I first got to high school. And hey, you was doing all that? You, you said you, my grandma kicked you out, so. No, 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 I, I thought I caught a felony at my, at my second job. Oh. And it got, it got fired. So I'm like 20. This is 18, 17. So why your grandma kicked you out? Cause I was selling drugs in the house. <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit. Damn. No, and then Brandon Court, no. Remember when Brandon Court went through that shit where um, the elevator was working, so they kicked everybody out? In Lauder Hill. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they kicked everybody out. The elevator was dirty, and then I guess they they got OSHA came there, whatever, and shut the whole shit, and they kicked everybody out. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. So, so I everybody had, grandma. they get everybody a lump sum of money. Oh, so your grandma said, all right, fuck it, I'm taking this, and I'm going somewhere. Yeah. A couple people stayed. Like, I, I stayed. I still stayed there after <laughs> she left, because my partner stayed there. We moved downstairs or whatever. But he only... He ain't, he ain't, like, what I was giving him was nothing. Oh, uh, so he basically took care of your ass. Pretty much. I, I oh, so, hey, man, listen, you just really passing on the blessings to me that you received in life. Nah, I'm old, I don't want to hear no complaining. Nah, but you, but you, you get more money than me. Nah. Uh, you might get more money than me because you got more money to spend on yourself. I got two shorties. Before I think about myself, I got to think about three other people. I'm talking about when you was my age, nigga. Oh, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, I, I had AJ. At my age? Yeah. 28? Yeah, AJ. I had AJ in 26. Sheesh. Yeah, man. Boy, it's 30 young, boy. Throw back to that. What was your... Ask you a quick question now. What was your happiest moment you see in your life so far? No bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just little. The fact that I didn't have a job for so long, and I was out in the streets, and I was doing, like... Temporary jobs, mm -hmm. get hired at Walmart. That was your happiest moment. One of them, because I couldn't get hired nowhere. No one where. Bro, I, I said the happiest moment of your life of so far. Oh, my son. Okay, yeah. Please don't talk about getting hired at Walmart. No, we, that fuck? was one of my happy moments. Come on, Trey, you gotta laugh at that. That's crazy. That's not crazy this if you know. Nigga said I got happy that I got hired at Walmart. I, 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 imagine, <laughs> I, no, 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 hear me out. Trey ain't never no, got no, 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 hear me out. Some shit like hear me out. No, yo, yo. no bullshit. Imagine you out to have a kid. You out in the streets and nobody <sighs> want to hire you in a job. Just hire you out of nowhere after five, four, five years. Oh, say kid. that then. Okay then, nigga, ask, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> 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 
It's <laughs> that here, bro. Like, fuck you talking about, man? Big 50. Big 50. <laughs> nah, but no, for real. Get my first uh, legal job after all the felony and all that crazy shit. You being on the street. You the worst fucking question asking I've ever met in my life. I was been. I was. You see the question I asked you? I was. I had you down. That was a great question. Yeah, but you so. I guess you so laid back with it. It's just your tone, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm very monotone, bro. I'm sorry. Y'all, let me know in the comments. Hey, if try some questions, man. Fuck this nigga. <laughs> all right. Damn. Just help this nigga ass out, man. I'm doing bad, Trent. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> I feel like that. I ask great questions. What's your What's your saddest moment? The moment you regret in your life so far. Okay, saddest moment in my life. Mm -hmm. I can tell you today. Like one day, I I couldn't. After I caught the felony, I stayed with my grandma. You feel me? Why you laughing? Mm -hmm. They doing extra shit. I'm not laughing. Okay, fuck if you is. Take your head back. I'll take your hoodie out. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't like it. <laughs> yeah, so the dread, though. You like you got a um, brush cut. <laughs> fuck, fake, fuck, wrong, fake, fuck. Hey, listen, um. <laughs> this nigga here. Nah, nah, Jito. I couldn't get a job. Mm -hmm. Um, When I was serving, one of my homeboys got caught with all of it. So I didn't have none of that. <laughs> I asked for Joel for money. He gave me his last $10 and looked at me like I was a. This is my little brother. Joel, my little brother. Like, I've always been like his big brother. Mm -hmm. He gave me $10. gave me like I was a sad case, bro. I'm outside in front of where I live at. I'm, I'm sick, bro. I'm crying. Uh, I, you cried in front of him? Not really. Just like yeah. on some... Nah, bro. I feel that, like, bro. I feel like, that. Like, yeah. Feel that. Yeah, like... Damn, That's tough. Nah. Nah, bro, I didn't have my lowest moment, bro, when I had to go back and ask my grandma for some money, bro. Tell what that they shit. do, baby. More what they do, man. That Love. shit is very humbling, bro. Especially when you feel like you at an age where you shouldn't be asking your people for bread. We live yeah. on the podcast, bro. We on kit right now, Tig. Yeah. Fuck with me. Hop in, man. Hop in on the kit, baby. What you saying, bro? Yeah, I was saying, I, I know how that feels. I was just saying that. Yeah, but listen, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I don't regret nothing that ever happened in my life, though, bro. Nah, no, and, and I'm gonna tell you, but why. that's the saddest moment, though, when you was feeling like, no, nah, no, nah, for shit, so you had to ask for money. Yeah, when you had to ask another man for money and you don't got it, and like you really ain't got it, like you can say you ain't got it, I'm gonna give it back to you. But when you really ain't got it, bro, it's different, bro. It's different. <laughs> I. That shit is sick, bro. It hit different. It hit different, man. Yeah. Nah, I know some people who are perpetual borrowers, though. No. Like, I, I'm not just speaking on certain, you know, relationships. With I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to point no L, bro. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to point no L, no hands or no fingers. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you know what I'm <laughs> Yeah, what you saying, bro? Oh, I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take cut, cut, <laughs> cut. I'm playing. I mean, you. really and truly, bro. I don't really care how it looks, to be honest. Nah, we all have our moments in life where you know we Listen, get down. Bro. I mean, I'm a, I'm, Nigga, I'm a very down. big believer in the hustle. Sometimes it don't pay dividends, but one day. It's gonna blow. No, sometimes I don't pay dividends when you want it to. It's never people want to just like to be like, oh yeah, like, oh yeah, I'm hustling today and it just hit the lot of tomorrow. But that's not yeah, realistic. But bro. I already know, bro. That's like, not I, don't even, I don't even get sad about that. But I know it's not gonna pay my bills when the hustle don't bust. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a hustler to my heart, but then the day it becomes very to the point where it's like, damn, I to pay my bills, and when I'm stressing about my bills. I can't really hustle correctly because when I'm hustling correctly, bro, I get into a whole character. I become someone else. I'm no longer Jordan. I am a hustler. I am trying to bag that. Like I'm coming at you with I'm coming at females with different pickup lines. I'm I'm noticing shit that you wearing. Like there's a whole different attention to detail with how I attack the consumer. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Your inner confidence is amazing. That's like, it's amazing. 
No, it's because I know what I bring to the table when I have the energy. I, your confidence is amazing. I your know. confidence is here. <laughs> Meet you here. <laughs> This is crazy, bro. Yo, confident. I fought. Hey, yo, hey, when I say come, but I fought with it. Yo, confident here? Bitch, you here. Let's keep this on you. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. Let's keep this on you. I ain't mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm fucking with you, bro. <laughs> I need to oh, bro. If I was coming with that nigga, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be a mean now. We go, we go keep it on him that because it's the same nigga on the last cast who said that, oh, you're super talented, but you don't, you don't do that. Like... You you're, you're more confident in talent. You're more confident than the, you use your talent than, than the use of your talent. You know you you know you. It's like okay, I know I got the I know I got the juice, but fuck the juice. I don't want to. I want to use some. I don't want to use all of it. You know you got the juice, but you don't use enough of it. So it's not more like a. What do you? Th- I don't even know what <laughs> that made that made a lot of sense. Yeah, I'll comment below if that made any sense. Comment. Okay, okay. Your confidence here, right? Uh huh. Your juice can be here, but your juice right here. Okay. Your confidence don't match your juice that you that you putting out. It don't matter what it don't match what you putting out. You can put out more. I could put out more. Yeah. Uh, yeah I I subscribe to the thought of that. I believe I could do more. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. A lot of people tell me that I'm slacking. And I'm lacking. And I may be just because I'm too hard on myself. Every day I come into the house, bro, sometimes I'm just like, I always beat on myself. Mostly cause I'm I don't think you're hard enough on yourself because you, if you could be doing more, that means you're not hard enough on yourself. You're just hard on yourself. You, and, and you don't got to the point where you could take that abuse. Yeah, I feel like that's what it is. You could take that abuse. Like, it is not bothering you. You're yeah, hard on yourself, but you can't take it. You can take yeah, I just, I just take the beat. Yeah, yeah, and I just, just like, all right, all what's, right. What's on TV right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, you're a piece of shit, bro. All right, let's take it. Nigga, me stuff. too, dude. It's, the, it's not just you. It's me. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm 100% the same way. Yeah, I feel that. Like, it's not just you. I'm not going to just criticize. Nigga, that's me. But you know what that is, that's though? Me, 100%, me, if I'm being real you, honest with you, what that is? is there's actually a scientific study. I was just saying this to somebody earlier. Once we reach a certain age, bro, certain habits within our brains are no longer capable of change because it's a personality trait. In order to def- in that, order bro. to break that, you would need constant, constant awareness of the habit. Constant awareness to you attack know, the habit. It's a, I got for twenty two days straight before it becomes that you've reversed it, and then you have to stay on top of yourself for the rest of your life to make that new habit you're trying to put in its place your your new foundation. That's what it's like to try to change yourself as an adult, and that's what you have to understand. And you know what? And I said this. I said once people get a certain age, they're stuck in their ways. They're just, that's who they're going to be. It's really after you're 22. Yeah, it could be. I don't know exactly what no, it is. No, it is after you're 22. And that's fine. And once you... They say we become a full adult at 25. Our brain stops developing fully at 25. But at 22, your personality traits become set. Therefore, you have to... It, and, and that's why when we were talking earlier about the abuse, when we say that saying to ourselves, okay, yeah, I'm a piece of shit. Just accept it. You accept the verbal abuse now because it's like, damn, you know, I can't change it. I'm not even conscious of this shit no more. You know what I'm saying? You get to a point where you're so tired, you just can't even do it. You know, so. I feel like everybody can do it. Just gotta have the will to do it. Yeah. I mean, everybody got bad on habits, tendencies. It's just starting one day at a time. Facts. And it ain't gonna be easy. Mm-hmm. Shit, I, I be trying to break a lot of my bad habits right now. Well, you gotta stay conscious, like on top of the shit. The I ain't gonna lie, I think all this, me and you, me and you and Trick got the same problem. All this, like, nonchalant about everything. You think you're nonchalant? Yeah, I know I'm nonchalant. I know, we definitely know Trent nonchalant. You think Trent, you think Trent is nonchalant? I'm talking about, come on, uh, what I'm talking about is nonchalant when it comes to, like, my life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I we could definitely say, agree. Yeah. We all just very passive yeah, about our lives. Yeah, for 
for sure. Yeah. And I think that's, uh, I think out of the three of us, I'm more of the take charge type. I'm gonna be real. And the reason why it's, I say it's, that it's, is- it, nah, it depends on what we're talking about. If we're talking about the podcast, not just the podcast. Nah, just... fuck you. Fuck you. I'm talking about Man. acting on ideas. Nah, bro. Taking my business to another level. Out you, of all you did of, that? In terms of all... Bro, every time I've done my business, I've always innovated. Look at how I started. You innovated and you stopped. But I'm all always have the same problem. I'm always you're a little bit you're a little bit better than me and Trent. Okay, but we all have the same problem. Man. I admit that. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. But I'm just saying I'm the take charge type in the sense that if we're ever down, just listen, just listen, just listen, <laughs> just listen, just listen. I'm, just I'm listen. definitely listening. Just be mature about this. I, I am being mature. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So what I mean by that is when the groups are down, I'm always trying to rally a shit together, bro. And what I mean, like, even today, you wanted to sleep. The (laughs) podcast. Bro, it's everything in life, nigga. Nah, nigga. (laughs) Alright, bro. I'm going to keep it in the hunt. Wait, no, wait, man. You 100% Boy, right. no way, bro. You, 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 you might be you, you might be pushing your limits. <laughs> the uh, fuck? I don't know. Put my glasses back. Let me talk crazy, man. <laughs> this nigga so funny. <laughs> all right, bro. So, all right. What would you say up to now then, right? What do you say is your worst habit that you want to change moving forward? Not making a change when I supposed to, when I when I say I'm gonna make a change. Not doing mm, what I don't I'm saying. Like it. Not I'm gonna doing, steal your words. I don't like it. I don't, I'm not I want doing, something better than that. I'm not doing what I'm telling myself I'm gonna do. I'm settling for whatever I'm got going on. So you don't want to settle anymore. Long That's what short. I tell myself, but I still settle. You still settle. Tell me in what way. Give me an example. You like to hear this voice? You a fuck nigga. <laughs> Bert, what they do, blood? What up, Bert? Bert, hey, we live on the podcast. Hey, man, bro. we live on the podcast, man. Hey, but like, as far as we losing weight, I say I'm gonna work out, bitch. Say fuck it, they there, man. I'm a real nigga, man. I, don't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna, if I tell you I ain't going, I ain't going. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't follow through on what I'm, I don't, what I'm saying on a lot of things. Well, as far as me taking care of myself, I I will follow through on doing something for so somebody else. So you're a man else. of your words sometimes. No, I'm a word to everybody else, but not to myself. It means you don't value yourself. I, I you got you to say you don't value yourself either, bitch. What you say? I do value myself. Bro. Oh, you work out every day? Oh God. Yeah, you. I'm proud of you. But here's the thing. No, I'm not insulting. That, 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 that focus. That's what. That's it's an ego thing for you. My bad, bro. Go ahead. Sorry. Now you mad. I'm not, I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm only trying to expound on it because I'm trying to say that it's not, it's nothing to really shame you about because I feel like a lot of people don't really take care of themselves because life hits you. I'm privileged that I don't have kids. If I had a kid, bro, I couldn't think about myself no more. It's still an excuse. It's an excuse? Yeah. I'm talking for me. It makes it harder though. I'm just gonna knock No, it should make me go harder. It should, it make, should me, make you want to. It go should make me want to go. And on. when I did use it as an example back to throwback, you actually did push. So it does hit you in a way. It does mean something to you. So I mean, in a, in a it, way, it's it just it's just like, like you want to be real. Like, <clears throat> how much at this point of mine do I value life? I don't think I value as much as I used to. I ain't saying I want to die. But do I care about living as much as I want? To, you know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying, bro. Like, I, I don't, I'm not And saying. I feel like, you know, I actually want to add into that. I feel like a lot of people, and this is why I say, my, as human beings, our minds are always kind of like in sync a little bit. Because I feel that way, in a sense. Bro, I don't seen and been through a lot, bro. Like, for real. It takes, 
I feel like I'm only optimistic because that's the character trait that I forced myself to be throughout college. And it just kind of stuck. Like, so I'm always able to portray this, oh, like, energetic, whenever I'm, whenever I need to put it up. I was trying to relate to you in a way, but apparently you just... No, 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 no. I, I, I was saying that, like, mm-hmm. I got to a point where, like, I don't, <laughs> I ain't gonna say I want to You didn't value, yeah, yeah, you didn't value, like, and I felt like that only because I didn't know what kind of value I could bring to the world. I didn't sure. know what kind of value I can genuinely bring to the world. Like when you ask yourself, what do you want to be in life, and you can't think of shit, it's kind of depressing. I'm not gonna lie, that's how I felt there at high school. Nah, man. but you know, the problem with me is I know what my purpose is. What's your purpose? My gift is 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 it's it's funny. Like okay, it's funny people say because people say they what their gift is, but my gift is it's my speech. I'm not saying I'm the best speaker in the world and all that. But I know how to get my point across, and I know how to to talk to people, and I know how to relate to people. And I could meet somebody today, and act, they, they act like they knew me all their life. I'm relatable to a lot of people. Not I ain't gonna say everybody, but to a lot of people. I agree with you. So when I bring a message, you know what I'm saying? Like I could, they, even if they don't listen to everything I'm saying, they're gonna take it in consideration. My gift is my speech, my talking. That's my gift. Mm. Not just make people fuck with me, but make people like try to like make people hear me, and, and you know take my experiences and and then you know you, you do whatever you want to do with them. I'm gonna tell you like what and what what I'm or how I feel about something, and you take consideration. Even you, you out here don't hear me, and you hear me loud and fucking clear. You take whatever you take out of there. You might not take everything. You take whatever you want to take out of there. But you hear me, though. But yeah, like you don't hear me. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny. I, I'm, I laugh. And you act like I don't pay attention. Because I'm old head, I don't pay attention. Nah, nigga, I, I see everything, silly nigga. Nah, he do that to everybody. I know he do. He do that same shit to me. I know he do. <laughs> <laughs> I like him hear you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He a hard headed. That's a Jamaican in him. <coughs> That's a <that> jerk chicken, bitch. <coughs> <coughs> Y'all making niggas laugh and shit. <laughs> Y'all boys funny. Rastafari uh, shit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, bro, real talk. Jay Stu a real genuine dude, bro. He just, he just, he stay in his own way. He, he the reason for the podcast. He set up, he set up all this shit. He taught you how to do all that. But, but he, I don't want him to think that's enough. It's never a fuck enough. It's never going to be enough. It's always more you can do. With all this shit, bro, you can do a lot of shit. You can make a lot of money. Stop settling. You're smart. We know it. You, But you rather... Your, your problem is that you rather want somebody to know that you're smart than you just put it out there in the world and let people figure it out. You, you rather throw it in your face that I'm smart. Like, yeah, we know you smart. You want to throw it in somebody's face, right? Then, then you people figure out that you smart. And you know what makes his bitch? Don't play with me. <laughs> I don't want to hear, oh, don't make no shit fit. Yeah, the fuck you do. You rather, All yeah, right, we, know you the you know the gen- this. we know you genius. We know you smart. All right, 50. We want people to figure We're out that you smart, like though, bro. Real shit now. Okay, then. All talk right. to me, bitch. Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah. Hey. Listen. I we talked what episode sixty-eight or whatever was it sixty-eight? One, yeah. one, two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He said about fear of failure. Yeah, yeah, fear of failure. Fear of failure comes back to all of this shit, bro. When a nigga is worried about not being accepted or they put a shield up. Yeah, they put a shield up because like, all right, I'd rather just have the people around me know, you know, what I'm capable of, you know, just in case, because these people already pro- show that they accept me for who I am versus the world and the unknowns and the people who don't know. But, 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 but at the same yeah. time, you, the problem with, the problem I don't have, I can say is, 
I got a lot of problems. I don't give a fuck about criticism. I don't really say, care about criticism. No, I, I, I ain't saying you it's do. just comfortability for me. No, like, but no, but you, but you, I'm stubborn. Y'all know this, so it's like, yeah, it doesn't you, matter what you people like to be say. in your own space. You yeah. gotta get out of that. In order for you to be a wonder to the world, you have to get out of that comfortable zone. You got to be uncomfortable. You got to feel comfortable at times, and you learned that on this podcast alone. You're right, man. Sometimes I gotta be uncomfortable. Sometimes I gotta be upset. Sometimes, sometimes I gotta show different emotion. Because if you're doing the same thing and it, it didn't work the first time, it ain't working. Facts. You got to change up. Facts. Facts. We having a real talk. You see, so I don't mind being uncomfortable. It don't bother me. Mm -hmm. I don't mind being wrong. I don't I don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of times you're right. Oh, 50, you need to work out. Nothing you saying wrong. The only thing I can say is, bro, I ain't doing it. I never tell you. I never say one time, bro, you wrong. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, you wrong? Nope. I just I say I ain't doing it. I just keep it all the way 100, bro. Like, I ain't doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. it even that you right, you right about something. My health could be better. I could work out all that. Mm -hmm. Only thing I can say is, man, fuck that. I don't want to do it. I ain't no fake nigga, bro. Like, I can, that's, that's the only rebuttal I got for you, homie. Yeah. You keep it consistent. But what I'm saying to you is, you know so much and you do so much. Mm -hmm. The only person to hold yourself back is you. You hold yourself back. And I'm telling I've never told you this. Not like this. You hold yourself back and you settle. We all settle. Like you say, you're the key to this operation. And you you talk talk trend a little something and now you want to lay back. Stop that bullshit. Lay back. You can do more, bro. You can do you could with all the equipment we got, bitch, you can do what the fuck you wanna do. You could be you wanna make if you wanna we're not a, uh, uh, if you want to make a studio, you can make a studio. If you want to do whatever you can, you can do it. And, and with stuff, with, with knowledge and stuff you can do, it's not free. The more you know, the more knowledge you know, the more you can do, it. it's not free, bro. Mm -hmm. You understand that more than anybody. Yeah. With all the cameras and all the shit we got, it ain't free. Bitch, you got to pay. Facts. I was doing photo shoots and shit, but. You, say, say it again. I, want, uh, I was doing photo shoots. What, what, what's the word? Photo shoots. Was. 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 W A S. Yeah. Was. That's the problem. Yeah. Consistency. Be consistent in everything. Now that's the podcast, bitch. <laughs> Honestly, this is what I love doing, bro. I, I love talking on the podcast. And you don't even talk. Y'all do whispering ass shit. Like trying to be cute as shit. <laughs> whispering. This is my natural tone of voice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all boy hate. I'm not hate. I'm bro. whispering, Trent. Oh, yeah, boy, they ain't say nothing. You start laughing. That's agreeing with the nigga. Nigga, I'm not. This is funny. <laughs> you know, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> oh, nigga's funny, boy. Not, <coughs> listen, bro, bro. You know I love you, bro. I gotta just keep it on with you. You gonna keep it on me, bro? You, hey. Mm -hmm. When you be on my case about my weight, bitch, I'm working out. That shit, that's keeping a hundred with me. I think that's some real shit. I'm going to do what I want to do, but that's just real shit that you're going to be consistent with it, bro. I can fuck with that. I already know that's where we kind of build some respect off. Just me being consistent with that. Yeah, for sure. And you know that I don't have to, I don't have to do it. No, I just do it because... I know that you, I don't even understand how... It, you don't even understand why I do no, it. No, I surprised. It surprised me. For yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, but I just do it because I fuck with you, bro. Like, once I realize it's just like, you know, we all just one family, bro. Like, I don't want to see one member of the unit lacking behind. Like, you know what I'm saying? As men, bro, we, we have it, a responsibility to take the best. I'm going to keep it 100, though. Because we only got one life. Bro. Hey, you think it's just me and you? But if me and you and Trent did it, I think it'll motivate me a little bit more. When me and you and Trent ran. You hear that, big dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth, though. I've been told of this. Uh, no, he, he know I've been talking when me and to this Trent, nigga. AJ ran. When we edit, I've been talking to this nigga. He know I said this. When we do it as a family, it's keeping people motivated. If I just come and it's just me and Big 50, he just feel like he here with the preacher. Nigga go be talking about being, being healthy and... <laughs> What he should be eating <laughs> and what he need to be doing. Nah, but I don't. He think... don't want to hear that all the time. Nah, he I'm... wants 
to yeah. just know that all right, bro, we all working as a unit. Like these people, it's just it's just the thing about having family and love right there with you, bro. Yeah. When you're in the trenches, that's why soldiers get through the war, bro. It's like when they know they're with their squad, it makes it easier for everybody, bro. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You're right about that. For real. So I'm down, Trent, but you know, I've been telling you this shit, nigga. So. Nah, nah, you right. You you been telling me that. Yeah. Nah, 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 Gito, like, even when, like, me, AJ, and Trent ran, like, that was just, like, a little bit more. And the boy burnt me, like, at the end. Like, it just, it was a little bit more motivation for me. You wasn't there. I called it, I don't think I called it a day. You was, we were doing a podcast that day, whatever the case. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I just, it feel. We don't start up, man. I give it two weeks, we're going to start up. Once We need to line one day up out of the week where we're going to do it. I'm going to start a whole different group for it, too. Yeah, man, we're on a podcast be the fitness with the chat. Truth. I'm going to call it the fitness chat. Me, you, Trent, and AJ in this motherfucker. Yeah. Man. Nah, but that, that like that, that gave me a whole nother motivation, though, bro. For real, bro. Yeah. Like, it just... Every Saturday. No, 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 no. When my son walked with us and we ate, like, that shit motivated me, homie. Yeah, for real. Nah, oh, God. I know it would. Oh, God. I, That's I how it's supposed to be. And, and at first, you were lacking at the end. He, ran, he killed me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, he's just, okay. Yeah, and it's something to push. And you see the thing about it is, you're actually building moments with her. Nah, but you know what? You see the thing about it is, when you leave this earth, you think you're think you're only thinking about yourself right now. But when your son, yeah, that's true. when you leave this earth, your son is going to look back on those moments. These are the moments I spent with my dad. And we went for walks. And you never know what can come out of a walk. Y'all could end up having a serious conversation. Something that could change the course of his life. You never honestly know. Hey, you know, yeah, you're right about that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I remember it from when Emil came in here. Shout out to episode 62. Which oh, not here, right? Shout out to Emil. I know. Shout out to him. You can't <laughs> even flash back the episode. But, like, he was talking about how, you know, honestly, you could be doing more with AJ, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was saying that. Hey, yeah, but you man. know what's funny? He was saying that. <clears throat> what's funny? I want y'all to understand. I'm, a, I'm out of shape. I no. get it. Oh, oh you know what I'm going to say. But this project is what can build a relationship between. We got no, 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 no. Just like Trent, and you put hands on AJ. Mm-hmm. I need EJ. So it's it's a it's a, uh, it's a it's a village. You know what I'm saying? Like I need everybody help. I just need my. I can't do it by myself. I'm not in the shape for that. It's, it's, it's a village. Man. Yeah, you need EJ for it. Same shit. Right, take EJ. take EJ to the court. Fire with AJ. Like not just like. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. As much male figures as I can in his life. Okay. Because he has a I lot of female it. figures in his life. I don't think y'all understand. You could push me to push him. I listen, bro. What are you saying? It's not wrong. I know I'm not saying that wrong. You know? Because I know how it is, bro. Not, no, you don't. Because you don't got no kids. <laughs> this is different. I mean, but based off experiences people have telling me, I can't say because I personally don't have yeah, kids. That's for sure. But after hearing a lot of experiences, bro, I don't smash so many single moms. <laughs> and all they do is talk about their kids and their problems and time management and all this shit. And all I've gathered about being a parent was, you know, the most important thing you can do in a kid's life isn't trying to in, in, instill discipline and structure. Yeah, those things are important. But the first most important thing is to show your kid love, bro. It's something that they want to do. No, they'll de- they'll develop that. No, 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 no. Because no, no, no. if you're pushing them into different things, it will come over time. No, but but, but they, eventually they're gonna show you, especially at his age. He know what he wanna do right now. It might change, but right now he wants to play sports. My schedule would not let me go to his practices. It might let me go to his games, but his practices off limits. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I have uncles. I need them for that. And yeah. and with Trent's schedule and EJ's schedule, they can take them to practice. But I don't want to feel like I'm putting too much pressure on Trent or EJ. You get what I'm saying? Because like, it's not a kid. 
It's mine. So I don't put that. I don't apply that pressure. I feel you on that. I mean, because me and Trent, you know, we gotta focus on editing and shit too. No, 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 no. What I'm saying to what what I'm saying to is, I don't want to put too a pressure that's my job on somebody else. Nah, I feel that though. So it'd be like I'm not gonna say, oh. I'm a solid basketball Trent, you gotta take him. Nah, Trent go to work at four in the morning. Maybe Trent wanna at, at a certain time Trent wanna be in the bed. You know For what sure. Bed? You wanna sleep, you wanna recover. So I get that. Yeah. But I need help. I get that too. Where well, I'm gonna get the help from? I mean to Trent be don't a... Trent's the only, one of the only reliable Trent probably be the only reliable other man in my man that I fuck with. No, no, no. I said, Pause. man, that that's, that that that's my brother. Man, that I fuck with. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Big pause. <laughs> oh, oh f- man, that's in my sunlight. I had to hit all three buttons. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That was that was wild. That was wild. That was that was wild. Trey's sure the only figure in my sunlight. Yeah, figure. So, male role model. That he see. There we go. Male role model in your son. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. See, it's all about intelligence when you're using these words. I don't care what... what <laughs> I'm only doing it because you care. I don't care about the podcast. I know what I mean. I don't give a fuck what you I mean. know, bro. I'm just <laughs> teasing <laughs> you, yeah, boy. I'm just <laughs> teasing this. If ass. you think it's... <laughs> hey, man. If you think, if you think it's <laughs> cool, bro. Fuck it. Come try it. I'm going to kill you, bitch. But I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> it's okay. This nigga wild, <laughs> You gonna die? <laughs> Thank you. No, <laughs> come, come on, and try. You gonna die, but it's okay. <laughs> this nigga is too funny, bro. Oh, oh god. I get where you coming from, though. I be thinking about the same stuff too. I'm like, dang. I kind of wanna, you feel me? Let these just get some But you're a little younger and... too, bro. You're a little younger, too. so it's like, but you got a lot of nephews. It's crazy. It's too many, man. <laughs> Five? It's crazy. Too many, man. AJ probably the most athletic one. Jason Young and AJ probably the most athletic. Not speaking bad on Jalen. He just... Jalen ain't play football. I don't care what y'all say. Jalen ain't even play football. If he play football, he'll be amazing. Who? Jalen. The fuck? Oh, big Jalen? <laughs> yeah, definitely. What the hell? Hell yeah! I I think his brother, his is it his older brother or younger brother? No, brother. Jalen got a brother. Jalen got a brother. Jason, oh, Jason, 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 brother. Jason, brother. I'm tripping. He's it's because he's darker skin. Wow. Like, that's Jason. Yeah, Jason, brother. He should be playing basketball, that's boy. He but he more of a he a geek. He he he's what you used to be. I can see that. He more of what you used to be. Wow. <laughs> Well, it was not meant to be funny. Oh, somebody! But that was not meant to be funny. Uh, man, yeah, yeah Jamari. Get... Yeah, he he in the tag. He don't really. Oh, okay. Shit, yeah. he into the money. I read the fault that he can get. I bet he, he can get in the tag before he get in the basketball. How about your boy? I bet you want to bet that. I know that the for fuck? sure. The window and the gap for that is way open. Yeah. I'm gonna start talking to Jamari then. I'd be sleeping on that boy. Nah, that boy really in the Nah, yeah. listen, they, I, that's where you need to be at. With what? the new generation, they yeah. know everything about this tech shit. They into that now. They're going to be into all the advancements by the time, you know, mm-hmm. that shit start going up. Shit. We old heads, bro. At the end of the day, we got to accept that. By the time we turn 50s age, we going to be out of touch. I ain't going to lie, bro. That was so disrespectful, bro. Oh, God. You said we're gonna be like, <laughs> we're gonna be so out of touch. You're a bitch ass. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I don't know about you, nigga. I'm just wait. Keep on going, bitch. I don't know about you. That's the shotgun. I forgot what the shotgun sounds. You still be out here thugging. When I turn sixty, nigga. You know, you say, say, say. I'm still out like here, man. Thugging. You gonna, you gonna be doing everything? Catch a whole jog. Catch a whole jog. <laughs> nah, bro, I'll be already wiped up. You know, I'm already have a wife on my head. Yeah, my Trent, life. Trent, I have an old lady waiting for you, boy. You dead. <coughs> Wait, old lady before me?
I, I bet. You think so? Yeah. Why? Tris looking for simple things. You think I'm looking for the complex? Tris is all like all the extra shit, and he's but he's you're more dominant. You want to be more dominant. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I just feel like. It's easy for Trent to find a woman. If he just ain't find a woman because he's not gonna, he's not really looking for it. You're not saying you are. You're not looking for it. But because of how you look, you're gonna attract it more. In Florida. Yeah, I might attract more, but not just Florida. Yeah, just period. When I go to Texas, bro, I think I should go to Texas. That's where my spec is. Asian. We can go to Texas and give me a big one, get you Ooh. pregnant, man. All that thick shit out there. I'm clapping some motherfucker. You don't get a bit pregnant and go back to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I said, text me when the kid turn one. What? Like you turn one. Yeah, I'm kind of think about Texas too lately, man. The Texas or Georgia? Nah, Georgia ass. Texas I've been ass. talking to you, uh, boy. Texas cheat right now, boy. Texas right. cheat with Georgia. Shit, shit. We know when you ready, cuz. We ready to pull the trigger. Wherever you we going? Oh, I, know, I, know, I know I can come, so go ahead and slide. Yeah, you already know. You sliding with us. Vacate from Carissa and them, boy. Slide nah, I, don't, I don't look at it like that. I just need to vacate from my You can't look at it like that. That boy said he got to get away from the fam. You know where to slide to, boy. Ah, you, say, you, say, you say it like <laughs> that. It's always bad. <laughs> I like running from your problems, bitch. Nah, I ain't running, running from uh, your problems. Nah, coach. <laughs> Yo, this thing is so funny, bro. Well, I, bro, I'm not trying to. Oh, listen, I can understand. I'm not trying to be funny. It just come out like that. No bullshit. Nah, bro, it's your signature, bro. Keep being yourself. Nah, fuck you. Man. You can't stop that, b. Oh God. Is how you any live, more, any more, any more ads to the chat? Anybody else? I'm about to say, try me, bitch. Who the fuck is that? Shadow. Try me. Who is Shadow? What? Keep going. Keep going. Try me. Pause, nigga. What <laughs> you got going oh, on? Oh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, where's the, where's the boy in the way, boy? Boy in the way, boy. <laughs> Shadow, what's your boy, name? ain't no way, boy. <laughs> Try you. Nah, just explain yourself, bro. Maybe you, I'm misunderstanding you, my boy. I thought maybe maybe he said it at a part in the conversation. Yeah, he said it yeah. five minutes ago. He said seven, eight minutes ago. He was probably saying something. Whoever they is, they know somebody. I think they probably know 50. Nah, I don't put that bullshit on me. <laughs> <laughs> what that is, coach. <laughs> Try me, 50. <laughs> God damn, there's somebody you not trying out. <laughs> hey man. Yeah, you don't know what, what cards you're leaving on the table to your trap. Bobby. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> Anyways, man, we're gonna close out the main segment of the podcast. Any closing thoughts being 50? Hey bro, love, bro. Hey, this How you feel about this episode? Did I do a good job? It was some bullshit. I still love y'all, but keep fine, stay motivated. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. Oh, man, he said, nah, it was some bullshit. Stay positive, stay motivated. Damn. Y'all let me know if it's some bullshit in the comments. Stay like. positive, motivated. Hey, stay listen. positive, stay motivated, mother. This is why I sit there and you sit there. Oh, wow. No bullshit. That's a great question. Man. But you're not aggressive as I am with it. It's not, yeah. it's no bullshit. Like, I'm just like, I'm just, I ask him, man, you ask him, it's like, yeah, 50. It's like, when I ask him, like, hey, bro, hey, let's check this out. Like, yeah, yeah, but what on? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, for real, bro. You like, I'm swear, bro. I swear. I know, bro. I know. This I know what you said. Yeah, it's, it's just because I. The delivery. It's the delivery. It's the delivery. Yeah, I'm just laid back, and then I'm like, yeah. Like I'm like sleeping or something, and then I ask you the question. Yeah, like I'm, I'm gonna take that. I don't know, bro. It's just part of my demeanor. I'm not mad. I don't feel like I need but to this, be this too. Is, this, this is... What you think, Trent? You feel like I need to be so in your face? Like, no, man. you That's don't. That's not me, though. No, 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 no. What you think? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't. You should be yourself. This is yeah. why you should understand why I have the my position and you have yours. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no bullshit. No. Nah, bullshit. you right. No, you right. No, no bullshit. That's not the, That's not who you are. No. We don't want to make you somebody else. <laughs> I mean, when I sit over there, I'm I'm a little bit different. You're so. more aggressive. It's yeah. bullshit. I don't get it. It's stupid. It's right? because I'm here laying back this chair. Hey, guess what? When I'm here, when I'm in that chair, niggas be like, God damn, cuz like they, I got, niggas, like, they got, they got yeah, this questions. chair has a different effect on me than it does me. I don't, I don't have that. You see, if I'm laying back, I'm only gonna be chill. That's it. No, no. I see you lay back and then get up, like. I'm in a nigga chest. Boy. Yeah, I just don't have that in me. Once I'm laying back, it's over. <laughs> it's, it's over. 